First and foremost, good morning, uh, countrymen and women, and all those who are listening to us uh, beyond the borders of Zambia. First and foremost, let me apologize for starting this uh, short briefing uh, late. This is due to the fact that we had a challenge on the network. I hope and trust that the network will not drop before we finish our discourse. Countrymen and women, my heart bleeds this morning. In fact, starting from yesterday, my heart has been bleeding because of the incident that happened where two innocent Zambians were gunned down by the police. And I want to say by the police because I do not believe in the statement by Kanganja saying that they are investigating and that there are unknown circumstances. You cannot claim that these killings were unknown circumstances when we all know the behavior of the police in the past. People may have forgotten that sometime in March 2017, in May, March 2017, I was arrested when I just came from South Africa from medical checkup. I was detained at Woodlands Police Station. I fall sick and I was rushed to uh, a CFB hospital. I was admitted in the ICU for about two weeks. And just that day when I was released from hospital, I was led from the hospital to Woodlands Police Station. At Woodlands Police Station, what happened was unacceptable. I was accompanied by my wife and a few relatives, a few relatives, without cadres from the, UP, from the NDC. Police fired live bullets. When I just arrived at the police, they fired over 30 shots who they were dispersing only heaven knows who they were trying to shoot up at only heaven knows so for kanganja to claim that these were an uh, known circumstances is an excellent lie and i think comrade kanganja as inspector general of police we've had enough of you and the best you can do is to resign on moral grounds. Look, countrymen and women, I have gone quiet in the past one and a half months. It's because I complained that Zambians don't seem to uh, bother or care about what happens to people that speak for them on, on their behalf. I remember President Michael Sata said, all the educated people in this country are cowards. And his pronouncement is truly manifesting today that truly educated, most of the educated people, not all of them, are indeed cowards. What we are going through in this country is unacceptable and that we should have lawyers, engineers, and all the people that were educated at high cost by their parents and by taxpayers' money can keep quiet and leave a few people to be speaking. And when these few people speak, they are arrested, mistreated, and everybody's quiet. That is the basis on which I decided to reflect and be quiet and go off public uh, appearance in terms of political dispensation. But what happened yesterday has forced me to come out of my political hibernation and condemn in all strongest terms the killing of these two innocent Zambians yesterday. Had it not been for the grace of God, in 2017, somebody could have been shot. A stray bullet would have hit somebody at Woodlands Police Station. But thank God, it never happened that day. Look, countrymen and women, 
giving solidarity to a leader, whether political, religious, or otherwise, is a human right. Comrade Zuma in South Africa appears in court and he